Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a cleaning marathon, which means that I have compiled some of my most motivating videos into one to bring you guys over three hours of cleaning motivation. I love cleaning marathons because you can turn them on your TV, your phone, your tablet, whatever you choose to watch on and just let them play so you don't have to worry about constantly stopping to find something else to watch. If you're new here to my channel, hey, my name is Melina and I'm so happy to have you here. I post tons of cleaning, decluttering, organizing, decorating, recipes, all types of stuff here on my channel and I would absolutely love to have you subscribe if you haven't already. Also make sure to give me a follow on Instagram at those Brook Brothers. I share a lot of our daily life there and I would absolutely love to have you follow along. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. I hope it gives you all of the motivation you need to get going and let's get started. I just want to get you on my grid sometimes, on my grid sometimes. All my friends are saying that I waste my time, that I waste my time. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. It's been about three weeks since I last posted here on my channel and I am so sorry for that. I've been so busy with just everyday life and getting my kiddos back in school and all that good stuff, but I can assure you that today's video will make up for the break because it is jam packed full of so much cleaning motivation. It's sure to get you guys going and get you motivated for whatever is on your to-do list. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, but we're starting out here in our master bathroom which was quite a mess not only was it messy with stuff everywhere but the bathtub and the shower and sink and everything just needed cleaned really badly so we're gonna be starting off in here today Before I start cleaning in the bathroom, I wanted to throw this bath pillow in the wash, so I'm just moving over the clothes that were in the washer to the dryer so that I can toss that in. And while I'm in here, I'm gonna go ahead and restock some of my laundry products that I was running low on. Now we're back in the bathroom and I like to clean from top to bottom. So we're gonna start off with the mirror and I'm using Spray Away Glass Cleaner.
To wipe down the countertops and the cabinets, I'm going to use this Aunt Fanny's All-Purpose Cleaning Vinegar. I get this from Grove Collaborative and I really enjoy using it. It's just a really gentle cleaner that I know I can use on anything, but it's also non-toxic. It does smell like vinegar pretty strong in the beginning, but once it dries down, you can't really smell it at all. You mainly just smell the lemon smell after that. Oh, baby. So I have to be honest, if I had to choose the one chore that I hate doing the most, it would definitely be cleaning bathrooms. I just despise doing it. I always put it off. But I also know that when I do it, it feels so much better afterwards. It's so nice to have a really clean bathroom. But you guys let me know in the comments below, what chore do you dread the most? You know it's way too late. Now I'm bringing out my steam cleaner. I love to use this all over the house, but today I'm gonna to be using it to clean around the countertop that goes around my sink. So I don't know why my side does it and Johnny doesn't. I think it's because I wash my face every day and when I do, I splash water everywhere so it gets up under the countertop. But there is always some really funky stuff up under here and this steam cleaner does a really good job at blasting all of this out. It is so gross, I know. We got this. To clean the bathtub, I'm going to be using the same clear bathroom cleaner that I used on the sink. And then I'm also going to be using a bathroom magic eraser. I love to use these on the bathtub. It makes cleaning so easy. So I just have to ask y'all because I feel like I'm kind of in the minority on this. So are you guys more of a shower person or a bath person? 
I absolutely love taking a bath and the best part is I love to lay in the bath and watch Netflix. It is just my thing. I've gotten in a habit of doing it a lot at night once the kids go to sleep. I will literally lay in the bathtub for two hours watching one of my favorite shows. Johnny says the worst thing that he ever did was put a TV in here because I spend way too much time in here, but I absolutely love it. Let me know in the comments below, are you a bath or a shower person? And we have fun, fun, fun when we're moving to the beat this kind of song makes you belong to something greater something that makes you want to sing and it gets you in a dancing floor and moving gets so easy feeling easy to me and it makes you kicking up what's slow and living gets so easy it's easy and again and again and again and again and again and again Oh, baby. And again and again and again and again and again. Keeping a bathroom clean and smelling good is a hard enough task on its own, but when you throw little boys into the mix, it just takes it to a whole nother level of difficult. My boys use my bathroom all the time, and so I'm constantly looking for new things to help keep it clean. And I recently picked up these little scrubbing bubbles stamps that go inside the toilet, and I'm obsessed with them. I put one in mine and Johnny's toilet, which you'll see in this video, but I'm going to get them and put them all throughout the house because they really do work good at keeping the toilet clean each time they flush, and it also makes your bathroom smell really good too. Long, and they have fun, fun, fun when they're moving to the beach. As you can see, my boys also love to get in our shower and play with Hot Wheels and all kinds of toys. So I'm just pulling all of that out now and then I'm gonna clean it with the same clear bathroom cleaner and a scrub brush. This is very difficult. It takes some time. I always dread doing it, but man, does it look and feel better once it's clean. Now I'm going to use the same spray away glass cleaner that I used on my mirror to clean the shower doors. This is also difficult to keep clean. Everything about this shower is hard to keep clean y'all. So we had just like a regular, I don't know if it's called like a fiberglass or what, just like the regular white shower in our old house. And I could wipe that thing down in a matter of minutes with a magic eraser and it was perfectly clean, but this one takes a lot of work. We even paid extra to get the special kind of glass that's supposed to stay clean better. So I would hate to see how hard it was if we didn't get that top, but I'm just doing it the best that I can with the spray away for now, but it really needs a good squeegee too whenever I get time. Show me something.
I think about it, I don't even know if I've ever shown this on my channel before, but this is Johnny's side of the bathroom. So to the left here is my side, which is what I've been cleaning. And it has the bathtub and everything on this side. But if you go across here to the right, I'm trying not to make y'all dizzy. This is his vanity area. And then let me get in this back corner. <laughs> This is his side of the shower, so it's a his and hers shower. So there's a door on each side. That's his closet, and then his toilet is in here, which I think is technically called a water closet, but you get the point. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe all of this stuff down here. You can see he's got toothpaste all over his mirror, but I'm gonna go ahead and wipe everything here down really quick so that I can vacuum and mop the floor because it needs it really bad. It's in my birthday yet, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of this really cute set of dispensers on Amazon and I'm gonna be using it to put our shampoo conditioner and body wash in to put in our shower that's something that just drives me a little bit crazy when there's tons of different bottles in the shower and none of them match and they don't look good sitting in there so it also came with its own labels I purchased these separately because I liked the look of them a lot better and a couple of the reviews on the labels that came with the bottle said that they didn't hold up as great in the water and so these are waterproof which is why I purchased them but I'm just sticking them on here I had a little bit of trouble putting the first one on without air bubbles I'll make sure to include some good bloopers at the end of this video but honestly they were super easy to just stick right on and they turned out great I absolutely love how these turned out. I think it made everything look so much neater and cohesive and less cluttered. I'll have them linked below for any of you who are interested. But now I'm going to work on the floors in here. So I'm going to give everything a really good vacuum and then we'll steam mop. 
I love to use my steam mop to clean our tile floors in our bathrooms, especially the really shiny floor that we have here in our bathroom. If I use a regular mop, it leaves a lot of water spots all over it, but I also love to add a few drops of peppermint essential oil to the bottom of the mat. I just put about two or three drops on there and it makes the bathroom smell so clean. Just being nothing else. Uh -huh. I'm a sucker for your love. Now we're moving into my messy kitchen, and when I say messy, I mean messy, y'all. It was so bad. There was food everywhere in the floor from the kids eating and us spilling stuff when we were cooking. The sink was literally overflowing with dishes, and it was just bad. So I'm going to start out by clearing off all of the countertops and then unloading the dishwasher. this diffuser into our rec room because I got a new one to go in here in our kitchen and I'm so excited about it. This is the Aria diffuser by Young Living and I have wanted this diffuser for years and I finally decided to get it and I'm so happy that I did. It's just as pretty as I thought it would be and I purchased it with a starter kit so I could restock on a lot of oils that I'm out of but you do not have to do that. You can purchase the diffuser on its own and something really great about Young Living is recently they came out with a way to purchase things so you don't have to sign up to be a member or to sell it or anything like that you can just go on and buy individual products that you want so I don't promote it a lot but I always have my link in the description box below so that you guys can pick up anything that you're interested in I highly recommend their products their diffusers and I also really love their thieves cleaner you'll see me use that a lot in the kitchen
Now I'm going to start loading up this mountain of dishes that I have here in the sink and anything that doesn't fit I'm going to go ahead and hand wash it. wanted a Mackenzie Childs piece to go in our home. I just think her stuff is so pretty and timeless and I recently got this fruit bowl so I was so excited to put it here in the kitchen. I'm just putting all of our fruit inside of it and I love the way that it turned out. I cannot wait to get more pieces to add to our home. I had a tiny little bit of the Mrs. Myers baking soda cream cleaner left, so I put what I had left in there, and now I'm adding a little bit of dish soap too, and I'm gonna give the sink a really good scrub. I can get him off my mind Oh, I want him to be mine, to be mine My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall I can make it brighter when it's dark Yeah, 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 yeah
To wipe down my countertops, I'm using the Thieves Multi-Purpose Cleaner. I absolutely love using this on the countertops. It's one of the few things that I found that I can also clean our black countertop with on the island and it doesn't leave streaks. This is super gross, but it had been a really long time since I took this tray out of our coffee maker and cleaned it as you can see. So I'm going to clean that now and try to remember from now on not to go this long without cleaning it because this was disgusting. made a mess here on the table with all of my Young Living stuff and some other packages that I got so I'm gonna clean this up and put everything away so that I can wipe the table down. When I tell you my floors were awful, I'm not even joking one bit. There was so much stuff all over our floor and this was the result of just going a couple of days without vacuuming and mopping. These light floors show everything and I have a lot of kids in and out of my house at all times and let's just say they were yucky. So it felt really, really good this night to get them back really clean. Somebody else, who am I to judge? 
I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's all right. I'm starting to get used to it, think I'll survive. I met you in the summer, when you left it was cold. Said we loved one another, guess that we were wrong. I met you in the summer, our love was out of control. To mop my floor, I'm using my O Cedar Spin Mop filled with some really hot water and my Magnolia Soap and Bath Co Laundry Soap. I just use a teaspoon of this and this is the scent Lady Luck. It smells so good, y'all, and it only takes a little bit to really clean your floor good and make your house smell incredible. I know a ton of you guys have ordered the Magnolia Soap and Bath Company Laundry Soaps and you guys say that you absolutely love them. But just a reminder, I always have the link as well as a discount code in the description box below that will help you save some money on your order. But if you do get it, definitely make sure to let me know what you think about it. you guys absolutely loved this video if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up that really helps out my channel also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already give me a follow on instagram at those brook brothers i post a lot of our daily life there on my stories but i have some really exciting videos coming up and i can't wait for y'all to watch them so i will see you all in the next one A fog machine? Uh, they're kind of too big, but we're just gonna roll on over the. Yeah, that makes it makes you look rustic when we roll over. Oh no, I got air bubbles. You have one job. So cute. <laughs> when your ear sticks out of your hair like that. That makes me so mad. This is the real her. Dude. Stop. Good that thing you didn't get glass, so you just broke that. Mm -hmm. Oh, you screwed that. He really screwed that up. Mm. Here we go. So should I get, I'm saying what do I need to do with my legs? Should I post up like this and then do this? Or should I post this leg like? <laughs> You're messing all this up. I'm trying to get you views by giving a sexy picture <laughs> of the shampoo bottle and you're messing it all up. <laughs> That's super slow though. It's gonna be good. Make sure you subscribe. Get some quick feet there. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sup, Tube? Oh. What are you looking at there, babe? Did you get a new toy? I did these. How much did you pay for that?
Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. Either way, I'm so excited to have you here for today's video, which is our office transformation. So as you can see, this room has pretty much been empty and untouched since we moved in our house almost a year ago. So this has been so nice to finally have this complete and be able to use it. Pretty much the only thing that was in here was these boxes of Cricut stuff. So I'm gonna take them out, give the room a really good cleaning, and then we'll get to the fun part, which is decorating. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, but let's get started. I cannot wait for y'all to see this. So first things first, I'm gonna give the floor a really good vacuum, and if you know me, you know I'm terrible at keeping any type of plant or flower alive. I do not have a green thumb to say the least, but our sweet neighbors gave us this house plant last year when we moved in our house, and I have tried so hard to make sure that it gets enough sunlight and that I water it when it needs it, so I'm so proud of myself that it's still alive. It's probably just the fact that it's a really easy plant to keep alive, but I'm still proud of myself, and it is growing like crazy. Next up is mopping, and I'm not even gonna lie, we mopped this floor once when we were getting ready to move in, and it has not been touched since. So I'm using the Mr. Clean Antibacterial Cleaner to mop the floor. I love to add this to some hot water in my O-Cedar Spin Mop. It does a really good job, and it smells really, really good too. But we're gonna give the floor a really good cleaning, and also, I apologize if you hear any background noise in this voiceover. Johnny is currently doing the dishes, and Gaines is in there helping him, so they're being kind of loud, but you know, you have to get stuff done when you can, so y'all bear with me. Now Johnny is unboxing this beautiful sideboard that we got from Polly and Bark. If you're not familiar with Polly and Bark, they have amazing quality pieces. So our bar stools are from them and so is our coffee table in our living room. And we were so excited to get this piece for the office as well. It's a really fun, modern piece. It has great storage and it was also super easy to put together. All you have to do is put the legs on the bottom and that's what we're about to do now. Thank you. 
Now I'm gonna wipe down the inside of the windows really quick so we can put up the curtain rod and hang the curtains. So I know this is probably no surprise, but I wanted to go for black moody accents in this room with pops of gold. So I found these black velvet curtains on Amazon for an incredible price and the quality is honestly amazing. I also found this gold curtain rod on Amazon and whenever I saw it, I immediately thought it looked just like one from Restoration Hardware that I had been looking at, but obviously that one was way more expensive. So this turned out to be a perfect dupe and it also comes in other finishes. I love the way that it turned out though and if any of you are interested, I will have the curtains, the curtain rod, and anything else that's possible to link in this video linked for you in the description box below. We got this beautiful rug from Boutique Rugs and you guys know I love their rugs. We also have one from them in our master bedroom and the quality is just so good. But this rug turned out even better than I could have expected in here and it gave the perfect texture to the room. I'll have it linked below for anyone that's interested, but if this isn't really your style, definitely make sure to check out their website and look at some of their other rugs because I have a coupon code for you guys that will save you 55% off your purchase. But I can see that you don't This piece of art is actually from Home Goods. My mom and dad found it for me when they were in their shopping recently, but I highly recommend checking out Home Goods whenever you're looking for wall art because you can find some really beautiful pieces for insanely cheap prices. Johnny's bringing in my chair now and then we're gonna bring in the desk. I believe both of these are from Wayfair. I'll double check and have the links below. But then the pillow that Johnny is about to karate chop is from TJ Maxx. So I felt like with the desk being super open and not having a front to it, that it needed a little extra something. And I also wanted some extra seating in there in case the kids ever wanted to hang out with me. So I found these really fun and unique stools on Amazon. There were a few other color options available as well, but I'm already so glad that we got them because the kids have used them a ton. We do this every day, we do this love for life. 
Now I'm just sitting out a few accent decorations on this cabinet. The boxes to the left are from Ross and I thought they would be good for like memory card storage or something like that. And then the little sculpture to the right is from Home Goods. The glass and gold tray is actually a gift from my mom. It is beautiful and I think she got it from TJ Maxx, but I will double check and see if I can find the link online. The books are also from Home Goods as well as the box on top of it and this candle. And then the little peace sign is from TJ Maxx. I wanted this room to have a fun vibe to it and whenever I found this LED YouTube light, I knew that I had to have it. The kids are obsessed with it in here, especially at night, but I still honestly just cannot believe that this is what I get to do for a living thanks to you guys. But now I'm gonna hang this sign or picture or I don't really know what you would call this, but I'm gonna hang this wall art over here on this side wall and some of you might recognize it if you've been around for a while. It actually used to be above our master bedroom in our old house, but I purchased it from at home and the last time I checked, which was recently, they still had it. Johnny also hung this wall planner for me over here by the door and this was from Ross for under $20. I hope you all enjoyed this video and that you're just as excited about the transformation as we are. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Give me a follow on Instagram at those Brook Brothers and I will see you all in the next one. Did you just do that? Yeah. I just showed you up. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, oh bummer. <laughs> oh, God, man. I don't think you can be seen anymore.
Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. Either way, I'm super excited to share today's video, which is my nighttime cleaning routine. Now this routine happens at a different time every single night and honestly, sometimes it doesn't happen at all. But tonight you can see that I'm getting a much later start than usual and that's okay. My goal each night is to get the main living areas of the house picked up, cleaned up and ready for a new day. I've been loving using Thieves Cleaner to clean pretty much everything in my house lately. I add a few drops of peppermint oil in mine so it leaves everything smelling really fresh and clean and it does a really good job. Gaines and my niece have been playing Play-Doh at this table earlier in the afternoon, and the kids also eat a lot of their meals here, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up all of the toys and then wipe down the table and chairs. This couch is always a wreck by the end of the day. I'm honestly surprised that the couch cushions were even still on because they're usually not, but I'm just getting rid of any trash and then getting everything put back together. I guess it never hit you Our conversation takes to Paying it some interest from time to time Inside all that greatness and all So as you can see, the kitchen was a complete disaster and this is the hard part because a lot of times by the time I get the boys to sleep at night, I'm so tired and ready to go to bed too that I don't feel like cleaning, but there is nothing worse than waking up to a messy, dirty kitchen and every single time I do it, I 100% end up regretting it. So I have been trying to do this night routine as much as possible so that we can all wake up to a clean home and ready for a new day. Feelings not that long ago And every bit of 
We typically run our dishwasher every night while we're asleep, and on this day we just never got around to unloading it. So I'm gonna unload all the clean dishes and put them away, and then I'm gonna load up the dirty ones that are in the sink so that they can run tonight while we sleep. Hope y'all are enjoying this slower paced kind of relaxing video but i just want to say that i have some really exciting videos coming up and i cannot wait to share them with y'all i have a office makeover i'm also going to be redoing my mom's pantry which is going to be a huge transformation so i can't wait for y'all to see that and then i also have a lot of deep cleaning and organizing coming your way so definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of these videos Now it's time to wipe off the countertops and I'm also gonna be using my Thieves Cleaner for this. It does an amazing job on my countertops, which is kind of hard to find with these black ones because literally everything streaks it. But this does a really good job and it also cleans my stainless steel appliances really good. At nighttime like this, when I'm just trying to knock everything out so I can go to sleep, I don't wanna be carrying around a million cleaning products. So this works really well. If you guys are ever interested in trying out any Thieves Cleaner or essential oils or anything like that, I always have my Young Living link below so you guys can check it out if you would like. I also get a lot of questions about my diffuser and it's also from there. Got no reason to be afraid. You're glowing in the dark. 
You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark. I feel it in my heart. You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark. Yeah, you're glowing in the dark. I love to get my diffuser going when I'm cleaning. It really does make everything feel so much cleaner. And tonight I'm adding a few drops of lemon and lavender. Glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark. I feel it in my heart. You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark. Yeah, you're glowing in the You're glowing in the dark You're glowing in the dark Glowing in the dark Glowing in my heart You're glowing in the dark Glowing in the dark Yeah, you're glowing in the dark You can make it go away Glowing in the dark You can make it go away You're glowing in the dark Honestly, can't tell you how many times I wipe these bar stools off every single day. They stay filthy, but I love how easy they are to clean. We constantly change up where we eat each day. So like sometimes we'll eat in our rec room at that table. Sometimes we'll eat at this table, especially if we have other people over. And then a lot of times we'll eat at the bar stool with the kids. So honestly, it just depends. And there's a lot of days that we go to sleep and every one of these tables have been eaten at. So I like to go ahead and wipe them all down. Now I'm gonna give the floors a really good vacuum so that we can wake up and walk on clean floors and not be stepping on tons of crumbs. Many places where the beauty never ends. Different cities, friendly faces, and perhaps I'm going back. But I don't have to be
Now we're moving into the rec room to tackle these floors. And to be completely honest, my floors needed mopped so bad, but I was just exhausted and did not have the energy to do it. I do love to mop at night while my kids are asleep. That way it gives everything a chance to dry before they walk over it. But like I said before, some nights this routine doesn't even happen, but I definitely feel a lot better whenever it does. But I think that we all need the reminder sometimes that we cannot get everything done every single day or every single night. And it's okay for your routine to change night to night. Just get done what you can because I promise you, if you at least attempt it, you will feel so much better the next day. The magic places in the world I've been to This is where my heart is Oh, you know it's true No matter where I go I'm coming home to you Oh, my child, I know You're hurt and you can't let go It's not your fault And you don't deserve all the bad in the hurt I hope that you all enjoyed this video and I hope that it gave you some motivation to create your own nighttime routine if you don't have one already. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a follow on Instagram at those Brook Brothers and I will see you all in the next one. Uh, will I get compensated for this? You do a good job. I might give you a little bit of something. Like AirPods? Keep up with your stuff. I know. Can you make sure you give me a shout out on YouTube? Absolutely. About the filming. Huh? Yes, my filming manager. Ooh, that's Acting got a shot manager. It's got a catchy ring to it. <laughs> I like that. Oh, sorry, you too. around me i've been putting on my fake smile even though i'm wasting time i don't want to be trapped in a box trying to be like the rest when i'm not i just want to go my own way gonna let the past burn down cause honestly don't want to be stuck in boring conversations with you with you i'm gonna Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, my name is Melina and I'm so happy to have you here. As you can tell by the intro, we have all different kinds of motivation in today's video. We have some cleaning, decluttering, organizing, and even a grocery haul. We had some spaces in our home that had just gotten a little unorganized throughout living here the past few months. And then we also had some spaces that I just kind of threw everything into when we moved in and never actually took the time to organize it right. So I'm gonna be tackling as many of those spaces as possible in today's video. This video did take me three days to film because between my son's basketball practices, games, and just everyday family life, I have to just get done what I can when I can. But I hope that this video motivates y'all, whether you are getting your home ready for the holidays, you're wrapping presents, or maybe you're just laying in bed exhausted from everything that's been going on. I hope that you enjoy this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do, and also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Now that I have our room picked up and our bed made, I'm gonna vacuum the floors and then I'll come back later to mop. I just wanna go my own way.
I'm sure some of you have already noticed, but I'm so happy that we finally got roller shades in all of our bedrooms. We got these motorized ones and they're blackout, so it makes everything nice and dark when they're down, but then you can raise them right up and let all of the sunshine in. I'm so happy with them and I know some of you are gonna be so happy that we finally have them too. I've been to heaven. I've done my best and my worst learned. So this is Mason's room and clearly it's a mess. I definitely could have picked this up a little bit before filming it, but I just wanted to keep it real with y'all. There's clothes everywhere and this is from me folding his clothes and just kind of sitting everything on top of his dresser or bed because the problem is all of his dresser drawers are full of clothes, but most of the clothes in there doesn't fit him anymore. So he's had a really hard time finding things that fit and a lot of times he'll get himself dressed and walk through the house and I'm like, buddy, that stuff is too small. Let's go find something else. So I decided today is the day that I'm going through his closet his drawers I'm gonna take everything out one by one go through it and only put back in what actually fits him that way his drawers are neat and organized there's room for everything and he doesn't have any issues finding clothes that actually fit I was so shocked at how much stuff he had that he had actually outgrown. He's in a size youth medium now and all of this stuff that I'm stacking up to get rid of is a youth small. I just went through all of his clothes and only kept what fit him in February when we sold our house, but he has hit a huge growth spurt in the past few months. So it feels good to get rid of all this stuff. I'm so glad that he won't have to like look through everything and try to figure out what is his size. And now this frees up room for me to go buy him some new clothes that actually fit him. This cracked me up. That is literally one pair of socks in his sock drawer. If you know Mace, he is the worst at keeping up with socks. He takes one off here and the other one off there and you can never find both of them at the same time. Part of it is my fault though because I have a bunch of socks in our laundry room right now that needs to be matched up. But I just thought that was so funny and he will definitely be getting a pack of socks for Christmas. We can pretend that we feel nothing But if you game I am willing
Now I'm just taking a few of the shirts that I pulled from his shirt drawer and I'm putting them on hangers so I can put them in his closet. And then I'm gonna go through his closet and just kind of reorganize everything color-wise that maybe have gotten out of place. He does a pretty good job at keeping everything color coordinated though. But as you can see up in the top right, there was just a lot of empty spots. So I'm gonna hang all of his sweatshirts back up there in just a minute and then just quickly go through all of the clothes and take down anything out of the closet that doesn't fit anymore. Only you know we do the rhythm This ended up being everything that I was able to get rid of. It was so much stuff and I already had one garbage bag full in the closet. I was able to free up all of these hangers, which is so nice for new clothes. And what I do with his clothes whenever I get rid of them, I have a couple of friends that like to look through them and buy them for their kids that are a little bit smaller than Mace. But anything that my friends don't get, I always donate to our local donation center. It's so nice to have everything decluttered and organized, but it's also nice to help others out when you can. Get to you, I've been trying for some time Cause I've been waiting, waiting here for someone Now that all of that is over with, I'm gonna make his bed so I can vacuum and mop his floors. I'm so excited because I finally found him a new rug for his bedroom and it came in, so we're gonna be putting that down today. We had carpet in our bedrooms at our old house and he has been saying how much he misses having carpet in his room, so he's very excited to be getting a rug down too and it looks so good. I can't wait for y'all to see it. Because this comforter is so dark, it shows a lot of fuzz and lint and things like that. So every now and then I like to run the lint roller over it. And you can see here, that was just a few swaps and it was already completely covered and not sticky anymore. I had to go through several sheets, but it definitely makes a big difference. It's now day two and I'm getting ready to mop his floor so I can put his new rug down. I'm just using really hot water and a teaspoon of Tide laundry detergent. This works so good, you only need a tiny bit. It cleans the floor really well and makes everything smell fresh too. To get by. It doesn't even make sense why I think about you. It was only one night, only that time And it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this Cause now I dream about you I was probably too drunk, it's blurry But I've got the image of you running circles in my mind right now And it could fade away But it probably won't And I should let it be But I'm gonna die 
dive into you and maybe I'll drown. I was so anxious to get his rug in his room that I turned his fan on high so the floor would dry really quickly. But this is his new rug and I just think it's perfect for his room. I wanted something very modern and industrial looking and this almost reminded me of concrete. I loved the way that it looked. I had came across it several times on some rug retailers websites, but I ended up finding it for like half the price on Amazon. So I will definitely have it linked below for y'all. I just think it turned out really well with his room. Now we're moving on to our master bathroom and this is the first time that I've ever shown this space to you guys here on my channel. It's mainly because we ran into a lot of problems and setbacks with a company who installed our shower doors and mirrors in here. So we had to go quite a while without them, but we ended up getting everything installed and it's all complete now. So we're gonna be getting everything in here organized. If you've ever watched our home tour that we filmed when we were in the process of building, you know that we have a his and her side to our bathrooms. This is my side that you are seeing and I will show Johnny's here in just a bit. I'm not gonna organize his side because he has everything the way that he likes it over there, but I will be cleaning it so you'll get to see his side as well. I have these acrylic organizers that I'll have linked below, but this is what I'm gonna organize my makeup with. Now, I used to be a makeup junkie. I had a beauty room full of all kinds of makeup before Gaines was born, but then it turned into his nursery. But I just found that I was spending way too much money on way too many products that I could never use up even if I tried. And also my skin is very sensitive and acne prone. So when I change up my makeup a lot and I'm constantly trying new products, my skin is not happy. So over the past year, I have really simplified my makeup and I have only kept what I actually use. I don't go buy a ton of new makeup until I run out of what I currently have. And not only has it made a difference with my skin, but it's also just so much easier to keep up with everything and keep Keep it organized so i'm just taking everything that i have out of my makeup bag and this container that i had in the drawer i'm going to wipe it all down separate it and then get it organized in the drawer how i want it can you tell what my favorite mascara is <laughs> apparently i need to work on throwing away my old one whenever i get a new one but all joking aside i have tried so many different mascaras and this l'oreal lash paradise is where it's at <laughs> Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Does it sound like fun? You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. I dare you to be wilder. This is how it turned out and it feels so good to have it all organized. The second drawer is all of my lip products and then in the top drawer, it's everything from my brushes, concealer, blush, foundation, mascara, and then in this vanity drawer here is where I keep all of my eyeshadows and things like that. So I'm just gonna quickly straighten up this drawer as well. Beauty 
This drawer is where I keep my toothbrush, toothpaste, all that kind of stuff. And it's kind of hard to keep clean because it's so full. I keep the kids stuff in here too because Mason's eight and I realize most kids his age probably brush their own teeth, but I do let him brush his teeth in the morning by himself. But at night, I brush them for him just to make sure they're really good and clean before he goes to sleep. I'm just very picky about oral hygiene and I want them to have the healthiest teeth possible. Of course, I help Gaines because he's only three, but everything is very functional in here and we know where it's at. This is my skincare drawer and this is probably what I enjoy the most. I love skincare. I love trying out new products and figuring out what works best for my skin. A lot of this stuff might be like almost empty, but I want to use it up. Or maybe it's just something that I use just every now and then, like once a week or something like that. So I'm just separating them into two different bins. One smaller bin is the things that I use every single day so that it's very easily accessible. And then the other bin is just kind of things that I use here and there. It might not be the prettiest organization that you've ever seen, but it's very functional and I know where everything's at. This bottom drawer was such a disaster. It had the most random things ever thrown in it. So I'm gonna quickly take everything out, switch it over to a different bin that's not green, and it turned out really well. I just want to say that while I love the way that acrylic bins and organizers look, you do not have to spend a lot of money to get an organized space. I will probably end up switching out these bins sometime in the future for something that looks a little nicer. But for now, I'm just using these Dollar Tree plastic bins that I had left over from our pantry in our old house. I know it's easy to put off organizational projects because you're like, no, I need to save up money to buy the perfect containers, but don't do it. Go ahead and organize your spaces with what you have or what you have the money to buy and it will make you feel so much better. This cabinet was such a mess. It was packed full of way too many hair products, my blow dryer, straightener, all that good stuff. So I'm just taking everything out. I moved my blow dryer and straightener and curling wand and all that to a bigger clear container that it fit in better. And then I just placed all of the products back in there a lot neater and got rid of any that we didn't need. Now that everything is organized, it's time to clean. I'm using my Thieves Cleaner to wipe down the countertops and sink. Now I'm going to use spray away glass cleaner to clean our mirrors and also our shower doors. Our shower is always full of toys. 
Gaines loves to play with this little car wash toy while he takes a shower, and Mason is really into die stacking lately. I had no idea what that was until he showed me on a YouTube video recently, but he loves to do that while he's in here. They just kind of hang out and play for a little bit before they get out, so I'm just placing those toys right back in there because they're going to want them there when they get in the shower tonight. I'm wiping down our shower doors with a spray away, but we also have a squeegee that I want to start trying to use when we take a shower too to help keep the shower shower doors a little bit cleaner. Let me know in the comments below what have you found is the best way to keep your glass shower doors clean, but I'm not going to be cleaning the actual inside of the shower today. We usually try to do that while we're taking a shower. It's just so much easier because you get soaking wet when you're trying to clean it and spray everything off. But to clean it, I just use the Jaws shower cleaner with a magic eraser and it always cleans it very well. I'm quickly vacuuming the floor because I don't know about y'all, but I have to vacuum our floor in our bathroom, if not every day, every couple of days. It's always covered in my hair. I feel like I lose so much hair when I fix it and blow dry it, and you can just see it so easily on this floor. So I'm vacuuming up all the hair so I can steam mop the floor. I finished up vacuuming the bathroom at about 10.30 that night and then my camera battery went dead. So it's now the next day and I'm just picking up where I left off. I'm wiping down my faucet and I just use water and a paper towel to do this. Whenever we bought our faucets, the lady told me to make sure I never use any kind of cleaner on them because it could remove the finish. So I just use water and a paper towel on that. Now I'm cleaning the toilet, which is always a fun experience when you have boys. Sometimes I think my kids get more pee on the toilet and in the floor than they do actually actually in it. I went into this house thinking that I was going to have my own toilet and no boys were going to use it, but guess what? Mason comes straight to this toilet every morning when he wakes up, but I'm cleaning it with some Clorox wipes and I love the Clorox toilet wands. Those are just a really easy and disposable way to clean the toilet. This is Johnny's side of the bathroom and I'm just quickly vacuuming his floor. I'm gonna do all the things to his side that I did to mine. Wipe down the countertops, clean the mirror, clean his shower door, and then I'm gonna steam mop our floor. I wanted to give the tub a really good cleaning before I moved on to the floor and I'm using the Jaws bathroom cleaner. I was really excited to try this because this is their new foaming bathroom cleaner and I have to say it worked and smelled even better than the old one. If you are new here, I highly, highly recommend Jaws products. I love them so much and use them on a daily basis. I always have a code in the description box below that will save you 20% on your Jaws purchase. 
Also, the bath pillow that I took out just a second ago is phenomenal. If you love taking baths like I do, you need it in your life. It's an Amazon find and I'll have it linked below. I took it out because I like to toss it in the wash every couple of weeks to bleach it and make sure that it doesn't get moldy or anything, but you'll see me put it back in at the end of this video. I cannot recommend it enough. I love it. My kids love it. It is so good. Now it's time to clean these floors and they have been a little bit tricky to figure out the best way to clean them. I started out just using my O-Cedar Spin Mop, but no matter how much I spun the mop out, it would still leave water spots everywhere on the floor when it dried because this floor is so shiny. My mom recently gave me her steam mop because she never used it and I'm so grateful because it cleans the floors so well. I just bought these steam mop pad replacements on Amazon and I add a few drops of peppermint essential oil to it and it cleans the floor so well. so good to have a super clean and organized bathroom. Let's just hope I can keep it this way. You had me at a low Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you, and you got me too You can ride all the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday, someday Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or if this happens to be your first time watching any of my videos, my name is Melina and I'm so happy to have you here. We are going to be getting so much clean and done in this video. I'm going to be sharing some new spaces that you don't typically see on my channel, and I'm also going to be sharing a really yummy recipe at the end of this video, so definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm starting off here in our master bedroom. I'm just quickly picking up around the room and then I'm gonna take off our sheets so I can toss them in the wash. And you got me too. We can always make it through. What we do is what we do. I can take you anywhere, somewhere. We won't be scared. I'm going to go ahead and put my sheets straight in the wash. That way I don't get sidetracked throughout the day and forget to start them. I'm using my unscented free and clear laundry detergent from Grove. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of my Diva laundry detergent just because this makes our clothes smell amazing. I 
also always like to add a little bit of bleach to the wash whenever I'm washing our towels or sheets. I'm going to be using Caltrea's countertop spray in the Rosewater Driftwood scent to wipe off our countertops in our washer and dryer. This stuff is a longtime favorite of mine and I haven't used it in a really long time until recently and I'm so happy that I got it again because this stuff smells so good and I just cannot get enough of it. I get you and you got me too. situation was a little out of hand in here so I picked up these command hooks that I'm going to stick on the side of the cabinet just to try to help organize them a little bit better. I've been hanging them on this cabinet pool and every time I go to get a new one a bunch of them would fall off and fall on the floor and it was driving me crazy. It's honestly crazy to me that I'm even designating a space in my laundry room for a face mask. I don't think any of us ever thought that this would be a thing, but it's definitely a thing now, so we might as well try to organize them the best that we can. I think I do need a third hook to hang his gaiters on, but this is definitely a lot better than it used to be. What can I do? Now I'm heading back into our bedroom and I'm going to wipe down our nightstands using the Method Daily Wood Cleaner. Gaines wanted some goldfish right at bedtime the night before this, and whenever I woke up, I realized he had crushed them all over the rug. So we're gonna vacuum the floors in here and get this mess cleaned up. Another season we leave behind. Another story that's got me blind. Got only you on my mind. What I couldn't find Just need to know I need peace of mind Where are you now? Even though I won't believe it The truth is a lie We are healing Even though words are deceiving You move on Cause every time I I'm adding a smaller attachment to the vacuum so I can clean the headboard. This actually gets really dusty and there was also some sheetrock dust from when we hung this picture above the bed recently. I'm 
going back in the laundry room really quick to fold this load of towels so I can move our sheets to the dryer and then I'm gonna go get started on the boys bathroom. This is my boy's bathroom, and I think I've only shown this to you guys once since we moved in, but this is his current state, and today, not only are we gonna be cleaning it, but we're also gonna be hanging their mirrors and a new shower curtain, because we've just had this clear one here since we moved in. I'm using the Jaws bathroom cleaner to clean out their sinks. Wipe down their countertops. I'm using the same rose water driftwood spray that I used in the laundry room, and this made their whole bathroom smell so good. I've always kept the boys stuff in our bathroom, but I decided to bring it in here. So I'm just adding each of them a little bin with their toothpaste and floss in it. I bought these acrylic cup holders off of Amazon and they came with these little blue cups in them, but I already had a bunch of these marble printed cups. So I'm adding these to them and I just thought it looked really cute on the counter, but it's also super functional. That tambourine, bring the bass, we might be weak. I'm taking down the shower liner because this is one that we just kind of threw up there whenever we moved in so that Mason could use the shower, but it's way too short. And I ended up finding a extra long one on Amazon as well as a new shower curtain. So I'm gonna put both of those up now. same Jaws bathroom cleaner as well as a magic eraser to clean their shower and tub.
So if this is your first time here or maybe you're visiting from Malia's channel, I just want to take a second to introduce myself. As you know, my name is Melina and I'm married to my husband, Johnny. We have two boys, Mason is eight and Gaines is three and we live in Alabama. I post a lot of cleaning content here on my channel and I would love to have you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. If you would like to follow along with more of our daily life, you can also follow me on Instagram at those Brook Brothers. I try to post daily on my stories there and you can also hit the little bell beside the subscribe button and that'll let you know every time I post a new video. I love using these Clorox wands for the toilet. They're just super, super easy, and I love that you can toss them in the trash whenever you're finished. Now I'm gonna use some Clorox wipes to wipe everything down. We use Bath & Body Works wallflowers all throughout our house and I noticed this one was empty so I'm replacing it with a new one. This is a scent that I had left over from Christmas. It's like a peppermint scent and it smells really good. But my favorite scent ever to use for them is called In the Stars. It smells so good. I'm going to vacuum the bathroom floor really quick and then we're going to get to my favorite part which is steam mopping. Stop for us. Oh, Emily, when did you fall out of love? Oh, Emily, when did the magic stop for us? Oh, but Emily, you are the part of me I feel. It will kill. I have been loving using the steam mop on our tile in our bathrooms. It does a really, really good job on its own, but I love to add a few drops of lemon essential oil to the pad and it just makes the bathroom smell so clean. Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool We were getting ready to go to sleep this night, so I'm getting the sheets out of the dryer and we're gonna quickly make the bed. Johnny is always really great about helping me make the bed. It's one of those chores that I dread, but it's always so worth it once you put fresh, clean sheets on. There's just no better feeling.
It's now the next day and we are finally hanging the mirrors in the boys' bathrooms. I'm gonna be honest, I've had these mirrors since before we moved in our house like six months ago. They were literally in our storage pod, but they're so incredibly heavy that I was scared to hang them and I wanted to make sure that we had the right kind of hardware that would hold them up properly. So Johnny finally went to the store and got everything that we needed and I'm so happy to have them up. This bathroom finally feels complete and I couldn't be more excited about it. Will you call me back? Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know that. Know the I'm using the Jaws glass cleaner to give them a quick wipe down and just get all the dust off. Mm. Once you've seen all the things, all the places, I hope it means that you come home to me. Once you travel the world, all the spaces. I'm going to quickly wipe everything down with the Method All-Purpose Cleaner. I did just clean all of this the day before, but since Johnny had to drill into the sheetrock, it got sheetrock dust on everything, so I'm just quickly re-wiping all of that down. This is our playroom and I don't think that I've ever shown it to you guys here on my channel before and one that's mainly because it usually looks like this if not worse and also because I've had big plans of really decorating and organizing this room and it just has not happened yet. We honestly moved in and just kind of threw everything in here and that's the way that it stayed but I got to thinking about it and while I'm sure there are some of you that have really organized playrooms and that's great because I hope that mine is eventually too. I'm also sure that there's a lot of you that can probably probably relate to having a really messy playroom. It doesn't matter how many times we clean this room up, it usually looks like this by the end of the day. And I will say Mason is responsible for cleaning this room up most of the time on his own. However, Gaines contributes to a lot of the mess and he's not really big enough to know where to put things yet. So me and Johnny like to take turns coming up here and cleaning this room up for them every now and then. And I hope that y'all can appreciate me sharing the mess with you, but do be on the lookout very soon for a playroom room organization video because I do have big hopes and plans for this room but for now I'm just kind of throwing everything into bins and putting it in their place and one thing I'll say is we do have a closet up here which is super nice because we can just kind of toss everything in the closet for now but I do hope to get it very organized soon. I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love again What's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by Someone save me for a pass out I'm too lonely to be done I'm a drink at this page
Option to be someone else I would And like all of you mm -mm. I know that I'm obvious But I made this way But why didn't I stay When I had the chance now that everything's put away, it's time for my favorite part, which is vacuuming. I don't know about y'all, but I love to vacuum. It is so therapeutic to me, and the vacuum lines are so satisfying. But I know that can irk some people. Let me know in the comments below, do you love vacuum lines or hate them? I absolutely love them and I really do miss having carpet throughout our house. In our old house, we had carpet in all of our bedrooms and I loved vacuuming it. So I don't get to vacuum carpet as much as I would like, but this was so satisfying and I'm going to have to start doing it more often, not just because I enjoy it, but because of all the stuff that I got out of the carpet, which you will see in a minute. I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. For the stairs, I'm adding the smaller attachment back on and this just makes it so much easier. In this moment, gonna lay here on the grass I don't need to feel lonely I am finally home at last Now I'm gonna share this really yummy taco pasta recipe with you guys that we had for dinner. You're gonna dice up one yellow onion and add it to your pan with some olive oil and saute it. We also added some of this meat church fajita seasoning. You're also going to add a diced bell pepper, and we already had some of these really small ones, so we just diced up four of them. You're also going to add that to the pan with your onions, and then once those are cooked, you're going to take them out of the pan and add in your chicken. We used chicken strips and diced them up in really, really small pieces, and we also added some fajita seasoning to it. Once your chicken is cooked, you can add your onions and peppers back in and mix that all around. In a separate pot, you're gonna add a jar of salsa. We like to use Mateo's, but you can use whatever brand you like. 
a block of cream cheese and two tablespoons of taco seasoning and you're going to melt and mix that all together on the stove. Next, add one can of black beans, one can of corn, mix that all together, and then you can add in your chicken and peppers and onions. Add some shredded cheese to your sauce mixture, and while you're letting that melt, go ahead and add in your pasta to boil. Once your pasta is cooked, you're gonna add it to a baking dish and then you're gonna pour the sauce mixture on top and mix everything up. This is where my heart is, oh you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you. Bake it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes and then when it's done, add a bunch of shredded cheese to the top and you are good to go. This turned out so good. It was delicious and very easy to make. If you guys try it out, definitely make sure to tag me on Instagram and let me know what you think about it. I hope that you all enjoyed today's video and that it gave you all the motivation that you needed to get going. Don't forget to check out Aaliyah's video. And if you're here from Aaliyah's channel, thank you so much for stopping by. And I hope that you will subscribe and I will see you all in the next one. Use those muscles, babe. Huh? Use those muscles. Somebody's that's a home builder out there is gonna laugh at your husband because it's not very handy. <laughs> Daddy? Is that good? Don't let it scrape the wall. <laughs> no, no, you gotta adjust it, but it's gonna scrape the wall up. That makes it look like art. I can't see I You see, like it? I wanna see me. You like it? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
your car in the backseat Wide awake is the way that you left me, oh Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading into the background I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. Today's video is a relaxing clean with me after dark and I hope that y'all love it. Whether you're cleaning alongside me or curled up on the couch with a cup of coffee, either way, I'm just so happy that you decided to click on this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm starting off in the kitchen by clearing off the countertops and then I'm going to unload the clean dishes in the dishwasher and put them away so that I can load up the dirty ones that are in the sink. About you guys but one of my favorite times to clean is at night now don't get me wrong I clean during the day all the time but sometimes it can just feel super rushed because there's so much to get done in the day but when we lived in our old house it was honestly part of my nighttime routine to just get the kids to sleep and start cleaning away and I have fallen off of that big time lately I think that we just have so much going on and my kids are older so they go to sleep a little later and I have found myself being super tired lately too but I'm trying to get back in the habit of it because because there's honestly nothing better than waking up to a clean house, especially a clean kitchen. I had to really give myself a pep talk this night to get motivated, but once I got everything cleaned, it felt so good. So I hope this video gives you the little boost that you need to get started. Now that I have the dishes loaded up, I'm gonna hand wash a few things and I'm using the Mrs. Myers dish soap and the honeysuckle scent. You guys seem to really enjoy whenever I share new recipes with y'all, so make sure you stay tuned till the end of this video because I'm going to be sharing a really delicious one with y'all. I'm 
going to use the Mrs. Myers Baking Soda Cream Cleaner to clean out my sink. I not only love using this because it does a really good job cleaning, but it also makes my kitchen smell so good. It was a thirsty night when I first saw you. Those green eyes caught me. Yeah, it was crazy. It was a Friday night when I first kissed you. You struck me like lightning. You broke my chains and released me. And days turned into nights on the couch in your apartment. No, I am not the same. Everything has changed. Every day. This little tray I keep by the sink tends to get really gross after water sits on it for a while, so I'm going to wash it off really quickly. And for those of you who are wondering, the tray is from Grove Collaborative. So the boys had been hanging out with Johnny and had not gone to sleep yet when I started filming this, but Gaines had been playing with kinetic sand and he got some of it stuck on his squishy, so I'm having to wash that off for him here. They did go to sleep shortly after this though and I got to finish all of my cleaning once they were asleep, which was nice because I get questions from y'all all the time asking how do I get so much cleaning done or if I have a nanny, and no y'all, I'm just a stay at home mom who does things whenever I can. I try to clean mostly when my kids are at school or when they're asleep and I also have an amazing husband who helps me out so much with the house and with the kids but I just try to get things done whenever I can Now that Valentine's Day is over, I'm going to put away the few things that I had out and then I'm going to dry and put away the few things that I hand washed To wipe off my counters, I'm using the Method Daily Granite Cleaner. I have quartz countertops, but this does a really good job cleaning them, and I also love the way that it smells.
For my appliances, I'm using the Method Stainless Steel Cleaner and Polish. They were due for a really good wipe down and I discovered this stuff recently and let me tell you, it works so good and makes your appliances so shiny. Honestly, shinier than anything that I've ever used on them, so I'm hooked on this stuff. This is the beat of broken hearts, is it all lost? We can't go on. As you can see here, after the first coat, you will have streaks, but all you have to do is take your cloth and fold it to the other side, which is dry, buff everything out, and it will leave your appliances so shiny and looking brand new. Caught up in the flashing light Keeps it dead in my mind Leading me on like it's whatever We could go on but we should know better We can't go on again Cause you seem like you want it bad My head is spinning off the edge And I'm giving it way too fast, way too fast Now I'm going to use the Jaws Glass Cleaner to go over the glass parts of the appliances. I don't really need new friends, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play, though, want to hang with me. I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone not afraid of, give it all to me. Now it's time to organize our coffee drawer and no matter how hard I try to line up these K-cups, it never stays organized because every time we open and close it, they just move around. As you can see here, I was super excited to find this coffee organizer on Etsy and I'll have it linked below for y'all, but you just give them your dimensions of your drawer and they make you a custom insert for your K-cups. Now you can even choose if you want it to only hold a few or a lot. I chose a lot because we like to stay really stocked up on coffee. We both drink it multiple times a day, but I'm starting out by clearing out all of the K-cups here and then I'm gonna add the insert. It fit perfectly and maybe I'm a little weird, but this makes me so happy every time I open the drawer knowing that everything is going to stay organized and in its place and I don't have to worry about it sliding all over the place anymore, but I am obsessed with this. for you now you got too many 
I'm wiping down our bar stools now and I forgot to get a clip of this cleaner but it's just a really gentle multi-surface cleaner from the laundress. I get a lot of questions about our bar stools here on YouTube and on Instagram and they are from Polly and Bark for those of you interested. This Method Daily Wood Cleaner is my absolute favorite thing to clean any kind of wood furniture in our house, but especially our dining room table. It makes everything look really shiny and clean, but oh my gosh, the smell. It smells incredible. I'm moving on to our living room now and I'm straightening up the cushions on the couch and taking away the Valentine pillow and then I'm just going to take down any little Valentine decorations that I had in here on the shelves. Our coffee table is also from Polly and Bark and I'm just wiping it down with the same granite cleaner that I used on our countertops. This mirror always has smudges and little handprints all over it from the kids, but it makes me so nervous because this is just leaned up against the wall and it is extremely heavy. We've tried to find several different options to secure it to the wall and we just haven't found anything yet. The strongest hooks and wire that we found is like 70 or 75 pounds and this mirror is even heavier than that. So if you guys have any good suggestions of anything that we could use to secure it to the wall, please let me know in the comments below because I'm going to be worried sick every time they walk past it until we do. It had been a little while since I had cleaned the floors in the main part of the house here, which is not good because our floors are light and they literally show everything. So I'm gonna vacuum in here and throughout the kitchen and then we'll get to mopping. I hope that you guys are enjoying this video so far. It's definitely a little slower paced than my normal videos and has a little bit slower music, but I thought this was really fitting for an after dark clean with me. If you guys have any video suggestions that you would like to see from me or any types of content that you would like for me to include in my videos, please let me know in the comments below. I definitely want to create content that you guys love and enjoy it, so any advice that you have is greatly appreciated.
can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing. Now it's time to mop and you guys know I love using my O-Cedar Spin Mop. I always have it linked in the description box below along with anything else that you see me using in my videos. But I'm filling it up with hot water and then I'm going to add 1 teaspoon of powdered Tide laundry detergent. I switch up what I use on my floors pretty often but this always does a really good job and leaves my house smelling like fresh laundry so what is better than that? I guess it never hit you Our conversation takes to Paying it some interest from time to time Inside all that greatness and all of your adventures You're all alone Hold up, hold up, baby I can't sit beside you While you're going on about your simple Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different are not already following me on Instagram I would love for you to you can find me there at those Brook Brothers I love getting to know you guys and talking with you more there and I also share a lot of our daily life there on my stories and a lot of home content so make sure to give me a follow if you're not already and I look forward to talking to you all there I'm laying down at the compile oh no I see you only when you're balling I'll see you in a while Cause this time I will choose you, yeah I'll choose You know exactly how to look like this Holding in a bag full of goods and needs I need a night like this Knowing it's a risk cause you're using it You've got all your secrets I can seem to move this thing Now that all of the cleaning is done, I'm going to share with y'all how we make our cheesy chicken enchiladas. You're going to start out with two cups of shredded chicken. We took the easy way and did rotisserie chicken, but you can definitely cook your own. And then you're going to add one teaspoon of ground cumin. You're also going to add one teaspoon of chili powder as well as a half a cup of salsa. We love to use the Mateo's brand salsa that you see here, but you can use whatever your favorite is, and then you're just going to mix everything up.
You can choose whatever type of tortillas you like. We like these wheat ones, so we used those. You're gonna add your chicken mixture to it and roll it up. You're gonna spray your casserole dish with Pam and then add all of the enchiladas to it. Next, you're gonna heat up your pot and add two tablespoons of butter as well as two tablespoons of flour, and you're gonna stir that around until it starts to brown. After you've cooked that for about a minute, now you're gonna add in two cups of chicken broth and you're gonna stir this until it starts to thicken. It takes about six minutes. Next, you're gonna add a half a teaspoon of cumin, one cup of cheese, four ounces of green chilies, a half a cup of sour cream, and one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of pepper. Once you have all of this mixed together, you're just going to pour it straight over your enchiladas. Top it off with about 2 cups of cheese and then you're going to bake it at 375 for 25 minutes. This is what it looked like whenever it was finished and it turned out absolutely delicious. I'll have the recipe linked for y'all below, but we topped ours with a little bit of sour cream and cilantro. You could use whatever you like, but we absolutely loved it. I hope that you all found this video super relaxing, but also motivating. I truly cannot thank you all enough for supporting my channel. Whether this is your first time here or you watch every single video, I'm truly so grateful for y'all. I hope that you are doing amazing and I will see you all in the next one. People are going to want to hire me. <laughs> Check out the pantry video. She's stirring that good. Huh? <laughs> what? Stirring that like crazy. You told me to stir it as you pour it in, right? It's going so fast. I mean, I'm an athlete. Maybe I'm not going to do this thing slow. Okay, and then it says a half a cup of cheese. Wait. Shout out. <laughs> it's actually Fiji. Not Fuji. <laughs> no. YouTube. <laughs> I'm not ready for my the close real. up. <laughs> Alright, that's good. The real <laughs> YouTube queen. You should have let me spray it. You think you're better? I'm definitely okay, better. Go. No, I'm not. Go ahead. You you wouldn't let me do it to start with, so I don't no, need to do it now. I offered to you you didn't know. You man. offered to sprinkle it. You're an amazing cheese sprinkler. I am, and you took my thunder. I'm sorry. I just picked it up and was going to sprinkle it. Got about a half a cup.
I really like it cheesy though. I like it when the cheese runs and hits you on the chin. <laughs> like the chili we made the other night. <laughs> yeah, that was like extra stringy. Summer's gone, I'm latching on Don't even know your name But you're still in my head Underneath, rays of gold Your body also oh close No, I can't forget, no Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or if this happens to be your first time watching any of my videos, welcome. My name is Melina and I'm so happy to have you here. Today's video is a filthy clean with me and you are soon going to see exactly why. I get comments all the time from people saying that I'm cleaning an already clean house and that you guys want to see the nitty gritty cleaning and today that is what you're going to get. No matter how hard I try to keep our house clean and you know routinely clean all the spaces in our home, there are some spaces sometimes that tend to get forgotten about and by the time we do think about them, it's a little bit too far gone and that's the spaces that we're going to be cleaning today. I hope that y'all enjoy this. It's definitely the nastiest, most disgusting video that I've ever shared here on my channel, but I hope you appreciate the mess and the transformation. But jumping right in, I just wiped down our island with the Method Daily Granite Cleaner and and now I'm just cleaning up some board games here on the table so that I can wipe this one down. Doesn't make sense, no. Cause I need you on the dance floor. 4 a.m. and we go. I'm using Method All Purpose Cleaner in the Clementine scent to wipe down the table, and I'm also gonna use this same cleaner to wipe down our chairs. And the music was so loud. Didn't catch a name of that death crowd. Girl, you should wear a name tag. Cause all I wanna do is to know your name. If you are new here, I just want to take a second to introduce myself. My name is Melina and I'm married to my best friend Johnny, who you will see all throughout this video. We have two boys. Mason is about to turn nine and Gaines is almost four. We live in Alabama and I post a ton of clean and motivation here on my channel and I would love to have you subscribe if you haven't already. I would also love for you to give me a follow on Instagram at those Brook Brothers. I post a ton of our daily life there in stories, but if this is your first time watching any of my videos, leave me a comment below and let me know where you're watching from. We've had a lot of boxes pile up here by the door over the past week, so we're gonna take these out really quickly and then we're gonna move on to the living room area, which includes cleaning underneath our couch. And it was so much worse than I thought it was gonna be, so y'all get ready. I'm in love with all your lights and your colors. Before we actually move the couch apart to clean underneath it, I'm going to vacuum under all of the cushions and put it back together and then we'll move it to the other side of the room to see what's actually underneath it. Made of stars, up above, made to fall. Stars, counting stars, and they guide me through. in despair air is getting heavier but i do my best to breathe dreams of green and filled with this life is so much more than this so where do you go when nothing's like under the cushions wasn't as bad as i was expecting it to be it was mainly just a bunch of lego pieces but don't worry we made up for it when we started cleaning underneath the couch Sun in my life's just be 
begun Sun under the sun I'll be fine and you'll be gone When nothing's like We got our couch professionally cleaned about seven months ago when we moved in, but the kids have gotten a few spots on it since then, so I got this new carpet and upholstery stain remover from Grove Collaborative, and I'm going to be trying it out today, and I have to say it worked really well. I just used a toothbrush to scrub it, and everything dried perfectly. Now that I have everything spot cleaned, it's time to start moving all of the furniture and see what we can find underneath there. If I'm being completely honest with y'all, we have not moved this couch once to clean underneath it since we moved in this house like seven months ago. And I was shook at all the stuff that we found underneath it. I run the vacuum cleaner underneath the couch every now and then when I'm vacuuming this rug, but apparently that is not cutting it and I have been missing a lot. So we will definitely be vacuuming underneath here a lot more often, but we're going to finish clearing this out and then I'm going to pick up the toys and the bigger pieces of food and crumbs or whatever we found underneath here and then we'll give it a good vacuum. Cause it's the way it goes and I will never know why you let me go. Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I'm leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm wrong I got it, I gotta Go, go, go Running to better times Go, go, go From my emotions I'll go, go, go Running While Johnny was already vacuuming, I figured I would flip this rug over and let him vacuum underneath it, but surprisingly, there wasn't anything under there. I guess it was all just under the couch. But here's your reminder, if you have not vacuumed and cleaned underneath your couch recently, go do it now. And if you're brave, take a picture of what you find underneath it and tag me on Instagram. I shared my mess with y'all, now you share yours with me. Surely it can't be worse than mine. I love to use these dry Swiffer cloths to dust the baseboards. They just do a really good job and everything sticks to it really well. I wanted to go ahead and make sure I took care of these before I moved the couch back since it might be a while before they get wiped down again. And as you can see here, they needed it so bad. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to, never wanted to end it like we did. So as I'm sitting here working on this voiceover, I have my little helper here with me, Gaines, and he is wanting to say something. So what do you want to say, Gaines? Click subscribe.
subscribe. Can you say thanks for watching? We should watch it. <laughs> Honestly, I'm open wide. I don't feel like waking up without you by my side. I still see your silhouette. Y'all know I love my O-Cedar Spin Mop, but when I'm working with really small areas like this, I love to pull out my Swiffer Wet Jet, and that way I don't have to worry about fixing a whole bucket of water. Now that everything is fresh and clean, we're gonna move all the furniture back to its place. To wipe down our end table, I'm using the Method Daily Wood Cleaner. This is the same cleaner that I always use to wipe down our kitchen table and it smells incredible. We have the living room all cleaned up and now I'm making my way into our master bathroom to get started in here. If you're new here, we have a his and her side bathroom and the shower meets in the middle. So tonight we're mainly going to be cleaning my side of the bathroom, but I'm also going to be scrubbing our shower which had gotten so nasty. I had actually just cleaned my bathtub recently and the boys were about to get in it so that's why I'm just straightening up the shampoo and stuff here and then I'm going to move on to the shower. The boys have their own bathroom but most of the time they end up wanting to use ours which is perfectly fine but I'm just pulling all of their toys and everything out and then I'm going to straighten up the stuff in the shower. Johnny had even left a few like water bottles and stuff in there and then I'm going to pull out my steam cleaner and really tackle some nasty spots here in the bathroom. This is my sink and you can see up under the countertop there, water kind of sits up under there and turns into this disgusting stuff that we're about to take care of. And there was also a few spots in the shower that were beyond disgusting. So we're gonna be taking care of all that today. I'm pulling out my steam cleaner and I absolutely love to use this for really good like deep clean and hard to reach projects. If you've watched any of my videos in the past, you might've seen me use it to clean our tile grout. And I've also cleaned Gain's car seat with it. It's just a really Really good tool to have especially when it's really nasty projects like this that take a little bit of extra scrubbing even if it doesn't blast it all completely away which it normally does it loosens everything up and makes it so much easier to get clean you just add water and press the button and once it turns green you are ready to start cleaning this is so sick so I'm sorry if this grosses y'all out but I could not believe everything that it was getting out from under this countertop now I want to embrace life when I side by side, knowing there is more in life that I want. Hey. 
I mean, if that isn't disgusting, I don't know what is. We were gonna clean Johnny's as well, and his didn't have any of that, so I think that it's from me like washing my face and splashing water up there, and it kind of just sits. But either way, I was so happy to have this clean again. Now it's time to clean some really gross spaces here in the shower. I don't use our shower a ton. I love to take baths, so I guess because I don't use it as much, I tend to forget that it needs cleaned. So whenever I opened it up and started looking all up underneath the sides here, I was shocked at how badly it needed cleaned. So we're gonna take care of it now with a steam cleaner. This blasted most of it up, but I am gonna go back in with a cleaner and a scrub brush and everything turned out super clean, but I will not be forgetting the shower from now on. This will become a part of my week cleaning list keep fading into the background I'm wide awake now you keep missing out for sure take down your walls and let me ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah break by break now let me ooh, ooh, ooh. I wanna be right there by your side I wanna be there won't you be mine take down your walls and let me yeah break by rest of the shower I'm just going to be using Dawn power wash spray and a magic eraser. For my mirrors, I'm going to use spray away glass cleaner and I'm also using a Jaws glass cleaning cloth.
The last time I showed my bathroom in a video, I got so many questions about this vanity mirror, so I'll make sure to have it linked below for y'all, as well as anything else that you see me using in today's video, but I really love this thing. all enjoyed today's video and that I didn't gross y'all out too much with all of my filthy cleaning. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I would love for you guys to hit the share button below this video and share it to Facebook with your family and friends. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. What are you doing? Getting ready for my shot. <laughs> Your scene's up in two minutes. I need you to carry these boxes out. Think you can handle it? I'm gonna do two at a time. <laughs> uh, go ahead. You need to put like splits of content in this. That's not Legos. bad. That's not bad. Getting a little worse. <laughs> There's a zip tie. I think I think that's probably something off of a toy. Like when you have to. Oh, it's not even that bad. They are kids. Are perfect. <laughs> All berries. <laughs> Does it pass your inspection? Do you need me to do it while you hold it on there? No, but it happens. You're gonna break it. I got it. I got it. Wait, no. Let go. Let go. I'll hold this up while you screw it in. You're screwing the wrong way. There you go. Thanks, bud. Thanks for showing me up. Maybe we'll clean this till next winter. <laughs> I'm putting that in there. We're gonna see if it does it again. No? It was like lots. <laughs> Dad? Dad! This is the tickle gloves. Oh, do I like this one? Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on, stop. That's <laughs> sick, dude. <laughs>